Hello and welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the RDA. Yeah, I realized yesterday I didn't do them. Obviously the tactical analysis because of the Mark Rashford news. So you know what, why not, why not let's take a trip down memory lane even though it's a very horrific memory and go analyze why not Jaden Sancho. You know, because honestly, I was looking at the rest and it was very tragic. It was tragic from United's um, POV, you know, so... um. We'll, we'll talk about Jaden Sancho that game, which is quite shocking. I mean, you look at that picture already. Um, they gave them 7.1. I guess that's fine. You know, he played the full 90, scored a goal. Next stat is amazing. In a game of 90 minutes in a Manchester derby, one of your most creative players, your most informed player, touches the ball 35 times. And I think that sums up everything. It sums up everything about that game. Because like I said in the reaction, you know, City are making like 30 passes in a row. The United... They can't make six. They can go six passes and the ball is instantly into City's possession, you know, so it's tragic. You look at his passes, 86 passing, uh, sorry, 86% passing accuracy, that's fine. Zero key passes because we really didn't create anything anyways. You know, um, no crosses from a winger, tragic long ball, one, which is accurate shots, one on target. One off target. I do the, the one off target is very tragic. We could have we could have worked that one better. I do be fair. It's the one where Bruno could have laid it off first time and Sancho could have maybe got off a better shot. But um, yeah, I mean it's it's we really, really grasping at straws here. Crown jewels one, two out of three. Elgin's one, one out of one. Possession lost only six times. Six out of three, six times, thirty-five touches. <laughs> it's tragic, boys. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's hella tragic. You know, clearance is one. The rest is all defensive stuff. If we look at his heat map there. Um. Yeah, you can clearly see like it's like they did Jaden Sancho even play. We probably say he's probably one of our best players in the game there. But just judging from that heat map, oh my word, that is sad. That is sad. You know, for Jaden Sancho to only be like effective for so little is ridiculous, you know. Can't even make a decent heat map, you know, that's how much we were derived of the ball against City, you know. So overall, I think, listen, we don't have to drag it on for too long. We all know it was a very, very disappointing game, very disappointing result. And what's next for Manchester United? Well, they were in training today. United admin have been very quiet today, obviously. I think they know also that um, if they tweet out anything or try to spin anything, the fan base really will give them a, a tough time on social media. So they're just going to keep quiet right out the storm, as they always do. But um, yeah, like I was saying, Cavani is now back at Carrington. Ronaldo is also back at Carrington. So let's see um, who plays in the next game, obviously, this weekend against Spurs. It's going to be interesting to see. I might not be here for the match action. Obviously, I will do the preview and stuff. But um, it'll be very interesting to see who Ragnik plays. And obviously, we'll still have that preview to come, like I say. But um, let's keep an eye on that. But um, yeah, it's the most saddest tactical analysis we'll ever do on this channel. Hopefully, touch wood. Hopefully, it doesn't get worse than this. But um, yeah, do smash like in the video. Do subscribe if you are new. I'll set load shading very soon. So I want to drag it out too long before that. But um, yeah, I shall check all you lovely people very soon. Goodbye.